Hello, hello. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. I'm Julie Davison, and this is <laughs> this is my mother, Susan LaCroix. Hey, everybody. <laughs> We're Stampin' Up! demonstrators who've been doing this for 20 years. Sunday Stamping is our weekly video series where we share Stampin' Up! projects with you every week, and we've been doing that for a year, and it has been so much fun. Fun. Oh my goodness. We're two states away. And so we do this on Zoom and record ahead of time so that we can share and chat with you on Sunday. So if you're watching live, leave a comment and let us know where you're watching from and how you're doing today. And if you're watching the replay, just leave a comment on this video and say hello. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on these weekly videos every Sunday at noon central time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Today is Sunday, July 31st. It's the end of the end of the month already. I can hardly believe it. How are you doing, Mom? How was your week? It was it was good. Um, Uncle Larry and his new wife Phyllis are up from Florida. And so there we've been doing things. We went to Greenfield Village and had lunch today. Oh, nice. just all kinds of stuff. And they're gonna be going um today or tomorrow to meet up with a friend of his from high school and they're gonna do some things oh. around the state. So before they come back and spend the last couple of days with us. So that's been a lot of fun, but it's been busy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, before we go any further, happy birthday, Amy. Yes. Yay. <laughs> we haven't it. had her on in a while. We'll have to see if she can join us for a video pretty soon. I feel like it's been a while. Yeah. She's been long. pretty busy though with a new job and the kids yeah. are off for the summer. So hopefully we can work that out. And yep. I it sure hope so. soon. Yeah. Yeah. So how about you? Busy week? Oh, busy, busy, busy. It was Claire's last week of uh, marching band camp. So she just finished that up on Thursday. We got a preview of the show. We're so excited. Um, of course, it, it's just like the beginning. So they continue to work on it during the year. So we don't have like the full marching, you know, experience, but a good start to it. And it's hard to believe that school is going to start in just three weeks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. It is coming super fast and the summer is just flying by. So we have a summer bucket list we're working on trying to get uh, our last, you know, last few things. I said last few things. There's a lot we haven't done on our second summer bucket list. Um, and now that we feel like we're running out of time, we're just trying to check everything off and do all of our favorite summer things, including fingers crossed, hoping um, that we get up to see you pretty soon. And then we can film in person and stamp together. So we're hoping, <laughs> boy, I'm telling you. Oh, Love it. well, um, let's, let's get started and turn the camera around. You're going to show everybody what new products we are featuring today. So let me turn the camera over to your desk. Thank you. All right. So today we are going to use the Gingham Cottage Suite in the mini catalog. You can find it on pages 58 and 59. There's some great samples in here. And then on this page, of course, is just some of the product that's in the suite. Well, all the product that's in the suite. And then um, the next page, if I can turn the page. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was wrong. Okay. So anyway, these are the two pages you will find all the product on. So let's take a deeper dive into them. So here are, well, actually, here's the dice, but let me start with the stamp set. Here's the stamp set, Cottage Wreaths. Um, it's, it is more than one season, which I really like. It's mm -hmm. a four polymer stamp. There you go. Already well loved. And it's got little holly leaves and berries and a little acorn and kind of a twig wreath and a regular wreath and some like Christmas tree little leaves and a bow. I mean, it's just got a lot. Hello, Grateful Boo, Merry Christmas. Some people just make life better. So obviously for more than one event or occasion. And there's a lot of dyes in this too. So let me pull this out. And these are the country country wreath and there's 22 dies 22 that's so a lot of dies <laughs> so you've got literally four wreaths you've got um all kinds of different leaves a bow two bows um but just oh, just a ton so lots of stuff that you can do with this and i'm i'm really excited to share with you because i think we have some cute products next is this country oh i forgot the name of the dsp cottage no um oh it just <laughs> left my head mine too it's the 
You got it? Gingham Cottage. Gingham Cottage. I knew cottage was in there. <laughs> okay, so lots of different colors. We have garden green. And so you've got two different patterns. And then this is Sahara sand. No, no. This is smoky, smoky slate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other side is black and white. And this one is um, uh, not soft sea is foam. Is it mint macaron? Mint macaron, yes. I was thinking it was soft sea foam, but not. And then this pattern in it, another smoky slate. And this one is pink, petal pink. Blush, blushing bride, I think. Is this one blushing bride? Okay. They're so close. I sometimes have trouble telling them mm. apart. So more black and, and smoky slate, real red, daffodil delight, some pumpkin pie in black, more pumpkin pie, some more black and white, black and white, black and white, and calypso coral. Fun. So fun colors. Fun, different sizes of gingham. And this is a, it's a double pack, right? It, oh, thank you. Yes, there are 48 sheets. So you get um, 12 different designs and you get four sheets of each. So that's a, that's a big pack of paper. That's a big pack of paper. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It also has this threaded twine. So it's got some silver in there. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can get up close and personal. So if you can see the silver in it. So there's some fun things you can do with this besides just tie a bow, but it is thicker and heavier. So, um, you know, you have to make sure when you use it to really secure it securely to your card for sure. And then here's something kind of new and fun. It's a set of pearlized enamel effects basics. And so there's a white one, there is a black one, which almost looks silver to me. And then there's a, a real red one. So I'm gonna show you how to use those. Uh, I'm so glad because I kind of intimidated. I haven't used them yet. Um, and <laughs> they're just sitting on my shelf. So <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to hear your tips and, and maybe I'll finally, finally get them out. Um, there you go. Yeah. So this is everything that's in this suite. And um, Jay, are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Let me flip the camera over to my desk. All right. Um, so I, I pulled out my pack, which I just had on the floor, <laughs> just because I wanted to show you like the amount of paper that comes in here. Sometimes it, it's hard to like tell in the catalog, but that's, a, that's a really big package. I think it's actually like $30. Um, for the designer paper or something like that, but it is like a, a double, almost a, no, is it more than a double pack? It is, um, no, yeah, like a quadruple pack. pack. It really is. And it is $30, uh, 48 sheets for each of 12 double-sided designs. Usually, so usually 12 by 12 paper has 12 sheets in it. So this right. is like the equivalent of four packages. Four packs of designer paper. So if you feel like it's a little bit too much gingham, um, it's a perfect thing to split with a friend, yeah. you know, where you can get one package and then split it up so that you have, um, you know, lots to, lots to share. So what I love about this is all the different colors. There are just so many varieties here and then different sizes of the gingham. So I feel like you can really create a lot of different cards. Well, um, Obviously this catalog is in the fall. And so we've got some really great Christmas. In fact, let me start by showing you some of my other samples. So um, here's a, a Christmas one that I did really simple with the berries and some old olive, the real red gingham and um, a little crumb cake. And then I wanted to do a card without the wreath at all. And so I made these for swap cards and I just used some of the accessory stamps in the stamp set, the acorns and the leaves, um, and then use the leaf 3D embossing folder in the background. Um, I originally made it like this, but then I remade it and I don't know, I kind of like the landscape version better. What do you think, mom? Hmm. Oh, that's tough. That is really tough because I really like, I like them both. 
I know. Well, leave a comment, this or that, and let us know. Mm -hmm. So the, the obvious things in here are um, the fall and Halloween and the Christmas. And so I wanted to come up with something that was a little more springy because you can have a spring wreath. I like to have a wreath on my door. And so I chose the colors based on the colors that were in the designer paper, Blushing Bride and the Mint Macaron. And I really love um, this layout. So I'm using three strips of designer paper that are one inch by four and a half inches. And then I have a piece of basic white that's three and a half by four and three quarters. And of course my, my card stock is just a standard base, five and a half by eight and a half. And a stylish shape stitched circle that's about three inches. So I'm gonna start by, um, well, let's start with some stamping. I'm gonna stamp the wreath in the coordinating mint macaron color. And this is, I don't know if it qualifies as a full on distinctive stamp set, but it does have just some fun, you know, detail and variation when you stamp it and you get some parts of the stamp are lighter and some are darker and it's intended to be that way. So I kind of like that it has that, you know, kind of um, built in like layering kind of look to it. I stamped and die cut um, a bow and I used the Blushing Bride for that. And then I also stamped um, hello on a little piece of um, Blushing Bride. And so we're gonna use these for our focal points. And um, let's go ahead and glue these pieces down. This card is so super easy, super simple. Uh, but sometimes I just love cards that are like that. You know, they don't always have to be over the top and crazy. My style most definitely is, you know, kind of clean and simple. I feel like I said that last time too, <laughs> but it's true. Well, you know, Julie, the thing that I like about these cards is that they're easily duplicatable. Yes. You know, so people can say, hey, I like that layout and I'm going to use that myself. And they might, you know, change things up and make it their own, but you know, it's something that um, I don't know. You got layers on there. I I love it. I so I actually have a couple versions of this card because, like you pointed out, there are so many dies in the bundle, um, and I always tend to use the stamps, and I don't use all the detailed dies as much. But I definitely wanted to. Um, try them out and to make a card using the detailed wreath. So I have a, a version of this same card using the detailed dies. And so I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you that one. And you can tell me what you think, which one you like better, if you prefer the stamp image or if you prefer the, um, the die cut. So I just layered those um, pieces of designer paper on the white background with spacing in between and put that onto the card in the center. And so now I'm going to add um, the wreath and I'm gonna put that down with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And now that I'm getting this put together, I, I'm changing my mind about that hello. I think I'm gonna take it off the dimensional and just have it be on the card um, with regular adhesive. Really? Okay. I know, cause the, um, I don't know, the, the bow has popped up and I just kind of, I feel like I want the bow to be, you know, what's sticking out. And I feel like that's so little, but I did pop up the hello on, um, on my other card here. So here's the version with the die cuts. And obviously the die cut is more, you know, bold and, you know, bigger because it's die cut. And, and I actually layered two on here. Um, there is the detailed one and then there's a detailed one that um, that cuts up kind of with spacing around it. And so I lined those up right on top of each other um, and kind of fluffed a little bit so you could see oh, yeah. a little more dimension on there. So this or that, Ooh. do you prefer the stamped image Yikes. or the wreath? And just to mix it up even more, I have another version. <laughs> I stamped the wreath and die cut the wreath and the bow. And so that is the third version. <laughs> so we could do we could do this or that. Do we like it die cut or just stamped? Um, the circles are the same size, but since this was die cut, I added a green background. And then I switched it up and used a different pattern as well with the Blushing Bride 
designer paper. So I've got like this or that or the other. <laughs> you know what I like about this trio of cards, Jay? What's is that they're really showcasing the the dies and the the yeah the um what's the word I'm looking for? The variety, the variety of things that you can do with these. They're all, I mean, they all they're great. Yeah. Let me let me show you these dies. Like these are the two that I layered, and you can kind of see like this one has the detail all the way around, and this one, like each of those leaves, like there's not like a, a skinny mm -hmm. middle part, and so they act they do line up right on top of each other, which is what I've done. I tried off centering them, but I I kind of just liked it right on top of each other it was kind of clean that way but so those are those two dies and this one cuts out that this is the one that cuts out the um the branchy reef yep um and so then that leaves lots of little accessories so this one cut out the stamped image of the bow there's another bow that's detailed there's some um dies that die cut the leaves and the pines and the berries and the spider and the acorn but then there's also some detailed leaves um, so just lots of varieties lots of different ways to use all the dies and the stamps together nice all right mom are you ready to share your project i am very ready to share mine all right let's switch the camera all right okay so I am starting uh, with a Calypso coral card base, eight and a half by five and a half. And then I have a piece of the coral designer series paper, four and a half by four inches. I have a piece of the petal pink, five and a quarter by four inches for the inside. And then I have a strip of four inches by one inch of the of petal pink as well. So, um, but before I get started putting this together, I'm going to set these aside for a minute because I want to bring out the pearlized um, pearlized enamel paint. And um, I've got a set already dry, but I want to show you what I did for this. Um, I took a couple of these and these are the um, textured elements that go with another suite. <laughs> um, but you can do a lot with these things. You can use um, blends and you can color them. You can leave them plain. Um, for this project, um, I'm going to take some of the white pearlized enamel and I actually want, I'm just gonna grab a piece of scrap paper here because they need to dry. You can use the heat tool um, to speed it along. Uh, I just tended to put them on and then set them aside and they pretty much like dried. How long did you allow for it to dry? Oh gosh, um, I did some work this morning around, I want to say 11, 11.30 and came back to it at three, it was completely dry. Okay. So, all right. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm just going to squeeze. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just going to put a blob. And it will kind of settle in. I'll show you the dried ones in a minute. I'm, I'll only do one of these for now. But I did two of these. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Try to I hold love it that. So here are the dry ones. So I'll hold it up close. Oh, wow. That's it. That's all I did was put some of that. And they look like pearls on there. So I'm going to set this aside so this one can dry. And then I uh, was working on another project and um, let me get another piece of paper here. I don't know, where did it go? Here we go, I'll use this one. Um, and I, I die cut out a, red, a bow out of real red. And so let me show you the card. And I put some of the dots on the wreath. And then I thought, oh, I'll put some of the silver on here, but it's actually black, but I don't know that I like it on there. So you can hmm. see the red berries that I did. And I'll explain a little bit more about this card later. So I'm wondering if I should have done just red on red and add oh. a little. So I thought I would try that. 
And you can draw lines. You don't have to just do dots. So I'm just going to squeeze. Oh, that really makes the ribbon look 3D. Yeah, I'm gonna, when this dries, I'm gonna take it off and the other one off and put this one on, I think. And I think I'll just do a lobby in the center here and let that dry. So I think I'm gonna like this better. Let me hold this up so you can see it. But that's really all there is to it. Oh yeah. So Julie, I think you need to get out some of this uh, on your card. I know I'm playing right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry and come back to it. But I really wanted to share um, share this with you. This is the white. Oh, I'm missing, yeah, all right. So it does take a while to dry. So you have to be a little bit patient. All right, so I'm gonna put these aside and put this aside. All right, so on my card, what I did, and again, we'll have the measurements in our description. So I glued this on here and then I took, I went to my, uh, what is it? Sculpture contour dies. And um, I die cut out this piece right here. And so this is what you'll get. So it's already, I glued, I put the DSP on the card base first, then I die cut out this. Okay. All right. And then what I did was I stamped and die cut. Julie was showing you some of the detail of some of these leaves, which I'm going to do because <laughs> there are so many. So here's some of the leaves that um, I stamped and die cut. And then I just took some basic white scraps and did some white leaves. And then I took this one inch strip and I went ahead and stamped leaves on this and that's going to go right here so i'm going to go ahead and put that on my card now and i was inspired and i'm going to pull the catalog out and show you what i was inspired by by one of the cards i wanted to, i didn't want to do what they did but i thought oh i like that idea and it is on page 58 and it's this card right here. So that element where they layer Ooh. leaves and things all there, that's, that's what inspired me to do what I'm gonna do for this card. So I'm gonna bring out a little piece of this twine. And I'm going to do some shredding. And I'm not going to shred the whole piece. I'm going to shred from each end and leave a solid in the center of it to anchor it. I kind of like pulling that apart. I feel like this twine is really thick and really big, but it is. But it does it does pull apart. The ends pull apart pretty easily. And I wanted some of the little silver twines to show as well. And you can make this as big or long. And if you cut too long of a piece, then just trim the ends. So you don't have to be committed to, um, to that long of a piece if you don't want it to be. Oop, I actually really pulled that one. It kind of reminds me of like a broom. You know, it does. This would be good for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a little bit of trimming just to get some of these really fine little pieces off. All right. So I, I'm actually going to kind of layer this here like so. And I'm going to bring in my, my pieces with the pearls on them as well. And actually what I did is I cut... I snipped off the ends of these and made them a little shorter, a little easier to work with. All right. What are you going to use to glue all that down? It seems like those are very bit thick elements. Yep. I'm going to do some, a little bit of everything, really. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to use some liquid glue. Um, I'm going to use some 
um, I might, you know what, I didn't try tear and tape, but I might for this, this piece, just a little piece to anchor this. And I used glue dots, like on the end, this one and the bottom of it to anchor that. And then these guys, so I wanted to add a little bit of color. Oh, you know what I'm missing? Let me grab this. I forgot about this. This is Parakeet Party and I stamped it on there and I'm gonna grab some of the ribbon as well. And I'm gonna make a bow. Huh. And once you know it, I put my ribbon scissors away. <laughs> oh. That's all right. All right, so let me get this bow made. My intention was to have the bow already made and I forgot about it. All right. I think that's good enough. What my what I was aiming for here was a lot of texture. Yeah, and I think I succeeded. All right, there we go. All right, so let me start with a little piece of tear and tape to anchor down this piece right here. And I'm not going to use a lot. And I'm really going to try to avoid the open window because I don't want it kind of sticking mm. to the inside piece. Okay, come on now. There we go. All right, so I'm going to stick this guy right here. So what I'm looking for is kind of something like this on both sides. So I'm going to use a little bit of seal. Put this one down here. Same thing on the other side. All right, let me get my glue dots out and do these. I still can't get used to the blue dots on the inside. Yeah, did I tell you I found a box? I was starting to get used to it that way. And then I found a, an old box <laughs> in the back of my adhesive, you know, stash. That was the original way. <laughs> and so it's throwing me off now because I got used to the other oh, way. Oh, I, um, yeah, and I just a word of caution with these. These are pretty fragile, these wood pieces. Oh. So you want to be very careful. And if you push too hard, I don't want you breaking your wood pieces. Those kind of coming together here, huh? Yeah, I like all the elements. Yeah, I just, I saw that one in the book and I thought, huh, I don't want to copy exactly that, but I love the look of the white pearlized paint on the. Yeah on the wood I was thinking and I didn't have time to do one up but I was thinking of doing one with um doing a, like a blue on the stems Ooh. and doing a blue and white card for Christmas okay I want to put this guy up a little bit all right and bring you that back over here each one of these will look different, you know? So I'm gonna add some white branches. Just as fillers kind of in here. Oh, that really pops. Yeah. Yep, I tried, um, I thought of just some solid Calypso, but um, there's a lot of Calypso on here. So I'm gonna put another one right here. And then I'm going to put another one just over here, just to make it a little bit asymmetrical since I've kind of done 
All right. Up here somewhere. All right, last piece is this parakeet ribbon. We're just gonna put him right here. All right, so there is the outside or the front of our card. Nice. This is probably um, a hand-delivered card, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. I would not mail this unless you really put some bubble wrap over there and protect it. All right, so this is going to be our inside. And so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to glue it quite yet, but I'm going to figure out where I want this. And then I'm going to bring out our greeting and some Calypso coral ink. and just stamp through the window. And I'm gonna kind of aim it more towards the right of this. So some people just make life better. Oh, I love that sentiment. Yeah, I do too. All right, so I'm gonna just stamp this right there. And then, oh, Susan. Uh oh, what'd you do? I forgot the stamp. I forgot the leaves for the inside. Well, I'll show it to you. I'll show you on another one. Uh, so that basically is our card. Oh my gosh. That's really beautiful, Mom. So here's one, this is my sample one, and I stamped some leaves. Oh, I love that. So that's what I was supposed to do, but uh, I, I put the stamp away. <laughs> Didn't bring over a block. So that is my card. Gorgeous. Okay. Thank you. I did want, I have a this or that as well, because I uh, originally decided to just do the clips of coral and just do the, the little window here. And then I embossed in white. Some people just make life better. But as I thought about it, you know how you set a card down and you walk away. Yeah. And I came and I thought, uh -uh. <laughs> this needs, um, it needs something lighter there. So that was my mm. version. So tell me which one you like this or that. Oh gosh. I think I definitely like the one that you demonstrated, the one on the left. Okay. And you know, part of it though might be the arrangement of the um the embellishment. Yeah. Because I see the pearlized wood elements more in the one on the left, whereas the one on the right, the green leaves kind of show more. Yeah. Um well, I think, you know, I think it would come out different every single time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, anyway, so beautiful. Right. Oh, thank you. I had fun with this one. I'm going to bring this card back out that I showed before. And it's not, uh, my um, bow was not dry yet, so I'll have to do it later. Um, but on this one, what I did with the leaves, uh, the wreath, actually, is I, what I did was I stamped, here's my stamp set. I stamped several of these on the solid wreath that I die cut out. Okay. So I took a piece of garden green. I stamped a bunch of these on the garden green, die cut it out with this. Okay. Uh huh. Then I die cut out. I just hope what I'm saying makes sense. Then I die cut out a garden green with this one. And this is the one that Julie was pointing out that has kind of that void. I don't know where, what else to stay. Yeah. About that. And then I, I placed this, this, the two pieces together. Then I also stamped more of these and I um, fussy cut them and I glued them on just to add a little bit more dimension. And then I finished up with some of the red pearlized berries and the red bow which i die cut out i noticed when you held it up earlier i noticed that extra layering i just love that it gives so much dimension to the wreath there mm. is a die for those little pine um those little pine needles or pine branches or whatever so you don't have to fussy cut them if you want to die cut them but that is just Hi. so stunning the way it layers together oh, yeah. just beautiful yeah. Hmm. Oh, you're looking at the dies. <laughs> there are so many dies in that set. Uh, yeah. I, would, yeah. I mean, it's easy to miss them. <laughs> yeah, really? But I, I didn't mind fussy cutting them because I wasn't sure, you know, what I was going to quite do with them if I was even going to use them. And then I popped up the wreath with dimensionals on this piece of white. And then it. originally I put the wreath on just the red gingham. 
but I didn't like it. I thought it needed, it needed another layer. Yeah. So classic. I love the green and red and yeah. white. Just. Yep. Gorgeous. So that's what I did with this. Thanks. And then I did um, this card that I used um, for, it was either a party or hostess club. So I oh, just, I love those colors. These. Yeah. I took some of our distressed gold specialty paper from the annual catalog. Mm -hmm. I cut out some of those leaves and embossed the greeting in, um, this was hostess club. I remember now. So Cajun craze. And, uh, this is this designer series paper is actually from the DSP pa paper pack for the regals. Oh yeah. It, it looks so similar though. I thought it was the yeah. Well, I wanted, a, I wanted a smaller print and I yeah. couldn't find one that was small enough for me in this one. And so we did the, I did the brick um, embossing folder on the back and used some of the um, satin edged vanilla and gold ribbon. Mm, gorgeous. Thanks. So that was, and then I just, uh, we just put a few little leaves on the inside. Um, and then the last thing, and this is the swap that I got from Mary McCormick and she made um, a Halloween wreath just simply a back, a black um, twiggy wreath with the pumpkin pie wreath, a few um, rhinestones, boo, and <laughs> um, a just classic. I think it's really cute. And then on the inside, she just did. Oh, <laughs> so those, those are, that's my project for today, Jay. That's what I love about this cottage rose. And the reason I, I picked this one out, this was one of the first ones that I pre-ordered is because it covers, bring all your cards out. It covers so many occasions. You've got, you know, the fall and the summer and the, you know, um, Halloween and the Christmas, like you can just get so many different looks from yep. this bundle. It's just, and you don't have to do a wreath. I mean, your projects are great. Yeah. One certainly doesn't have a wreath. Yeah. But I really, I love this pearlized paint. I hope this carries over. I really do. I'd like more colors. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to play. I wonder if you could, well, it wouldn't be in the bottle. I was just going to say, I wonder if you could dye it with reinker. But I thought about it, but it might be too hard to work with afterwards because it's pretty, I don't know, for lack of a better term, globby. Yeah, well, it's very, it's like paint, like yeah, it's thick, thick paint. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm looking at the bottle now, and I, it doesn't even look like it has an opening, like besides where it comes out. Like I don't think you could put dye inside of it. So no, no, no. maybe not. <laughs> no, but a good thought. This yeah, up. we need more colors. Yes. <laughs> Let's switch the camera around and show up our projects together. I was like a plan. We both did projects that were not traditional Christmas or fall colors, but I mean, that just goes to show that you can just get so many different looks um, yeah. with this bundle. We've had some different wreaths over the, um, over the course of the last few years. I feel like we've had several different wreath bundles. And I really like this one. I like the shape of the wreath. I think whether you're just stamping, you know, on its own yep, or die cutting, I feel like you can just get so many different, um, yeah. different looks with this, with this set. So oh, don't be afraid to play. Don't be afraid yes. to layer and cut things out and do things because um, you can just do so much with the stamp set. And as Julius pointed out, you do, it doesn't, it's just not for Christmas. Yeah. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm I'm so looking forward to playing with this more. I almost like can't stop. You know, I, like, <laughs> hey, I can do I this, think, and I can do this, and I can use this color. Yes, I think the Gingham Cottage Suite is sort of a sleeper in the mini catalog. I feel like it's not, you know, that glamorous. It's not getting a lot of attention, um, but I, I think it's a really strong suite that has so much to offer. So what does Sarah, Sarah call these hidden gems? Yes. I definitely think this is a hidden gem, the bundle, the designer paper, and these new pearlized, what are they called? Pearlized? Pearlized enamel paint. Enamel effects. Enamel. Oh, it says basics, which makes me think that maybe we will see another color Ooh. combination coming. <laughs> catch that. Oh, that would be exciting. 
Oh my god. Now we're not announcing anything. We have no, no knowledge. No, 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 we have no idea. What's Just coming. a long wish list of things we'd like to see in future catalogs. <laughs> this is true. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. We've just so enjoyed this week's this week's video as we stamp, hopefully, with you. Sometimes I know some of you stamp with us, so that would be pretty awesome. So until next Sunday stamping with Susan Julie, have a wonderful week. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye. Okay.